Hey everyone, so I just finished watching Cars on the Road on Disney Plus and uh, you know all the nine episodes which are 10 minutes each on average which with that situation could have been like a movie at that point and I'm just gonna jump straight into it. Um, I think it's fantastic. Um, as a guy who uh, is not only a big Cars fan, uh, kind of like lives, breathes and thrives Cars in a way. Um, I was like honestly surprised to see how the final product ended up being. So, you know, I'm not gonna waste your time. I'm just gonna jump straight into my initial thoughts. Um, and, you know, there's gonna be some minor spoilers here, so you know, you've been warned. So I think um, what this show absolutely does 100% right is the chemistry between McQueen and Mater. Like it's just so perfect. Like it goes back to the to the first Cars movie in a way, but you know at the same time like it's something like kind of new, because you know like it's not like happy go lucky all the time. Like there are moments where they're like arguing about things, but it just it just feel it feels so genuine. It feels like a real friendship. But you know like, and I like the concept. You know going on a road trip and like thinking about like what the uh, the possibilities of life end up being. But, you know, there are, like, a few minor problems with the show. And they are, like, an admittedly just nitpicks. But on the uh, Road Rumblers episode, uh, the one where, you know, they uh, these, like, like weird-looking weird looking cars are going to war with these futuristic cars. And some of the models are not only from Cars 1, not only from Cars 2, not only from Cars 3. But also from episodes that uh, took place before this. So, like for example, the uh, the salt the salt flats episode, salt fever episode, had like a kind of like model of a car, and I'll put it on the, up on the screen now. And that model is used in the Road Rumblers episode. Like it just like these kind of inconsistencies that make me like wonder like why like why is this happening but you know and also um uh, like uh, there are some arcs that just don't feel complete like uh in the b movie episode um uh you know lightning mcqueen and mater like are going to like this movie set and mcqueen is like given this role but he can't like nail it so mater is brought on to do a different role and he smashes it and, you know, McQueen is kind of jealous, but, like, the next day, he's like, you know what, I'll, uh, I'll be a bit more of a supportive friend this time. Like, they didn't have time to, like, develop that arc a little bit, which I kind of understand, but at the same time, I wanted that to be, like, a little bit of, of an arc for Lightning McQueen. So, besides that, um, the show itself does bring back a lot of memories from, you know, like, the character interactions. Although I do wish some character, a lot of uh, characters would have returned. Like, you know, Cruz Ramirez made a comeback, and I like that. And we do see some cameo appearances, like like props. Like, like there's a school bus that kind of looks like Miss Fritter. Uh, and, you know, we do see, like, uh, like a UFO prop, which resembles, like, the Mator uh, UFO from Unidentified Flying Mater. But besides that, that's where uh, the guest appearances end. And it's mostly just McQueen and Mater and all these other characters, like one-off characters they meet in the episodes. But at the same time, like you can tell that this was this show was made with like to introduce kids to the franchise. And honestly, like I think Cars One is the best introduction, not because it's the first movie, but also because like it was meant to be just like a one and done type thing. And it just, like, it's a perfect introduction to the characters and, like, the world it's set in. Which, speaking of the world it's set in, I'm so happy they went back to playing with the rules of the universe again. Like, I, I was so cautious, like, going into this. Because this seems like a Cars 2 kind of thing. We all know how Cars 2 ended up where they don't play by the rules of the universe. And I was wondering if Cars on the Road would be the same thing. But I'm telling you, dude, it is the same. It is, like, uh... Like, the same thing from Cars 1 and 3. You know, they only drink oil. Like, they consistently drink oil. Uh, you know, like, uh, 
I think the, the car physics are a bit more natural this time. Even though it could go over the top at some points, it's not like a really big deal. But besides that, like, the rules of the universe are on point. So, you know, besides like, you know, like the Road Rumbles episode, like the concept of it, but you know, I can let that slide because like that's like the part of the show. But yeah, those are my thoughts on Cars on the Road. If I had to give it a rating, probably like an 8 out of 10. It's like a really, really good show, like with the minor inconveniences. And yeah, that's all I have to say on Cars on the Road. And I really, and they teased the second season by the end of the first, uh, by, by in the last episode. And I'm all here for it. Give me a second season, boy. I need a second season, probably in the next few months or so. Cause you know, I, I, I just I just love these kinds of kind of things. Of course, I don't expect this to go on for too long. Maybe the second season will be the end of it, and then maybe even a third season. But besides that, don't expect this to be a long running thing. This is almost like a one and done type thing. If they could have made this into a movie, they definitely would have made it into a movie. But they wanted to like to pen it out a little bit, and like you know, I, and I and I have to admit, like putting them as episodes made it more fun to watch because like you know. Yeah, the episode finishes. Go to the next one. So, you know, I'm kind of glad they made it into episodes and not a movie. But, you know, at the same time, it doesn't hurt to be, like, to me thinking about it, right? So, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.